Hey everyone, it's Maria Desmondi and I'm coming to you live. Remember we talked about every other week, I'm answering some of your how-to questions. So this week, one of your questions, we surveyed this group um, in the winter, just before the new year, we surveyed you on some of your biggest parenting questions. Now this parenting question is a big one, and so I'm actually gonna break it up into a couple different of these videos, okay? So the question was, how do you um, how do you help your tween? Okay, so the definition we'll talk about the definition of an actual tween. How do you help your tween on friendships, self esteem, and happiness? So I really see those things as being combined: friendships, self esteem, and happiness. But then we can also separate those into three different things. So we're going to talk today about tween friendships. Now, when I say tween, I'm talking about a child who is usually around 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, somewhere in there before they become an actual teenager, but definitely when those emotions start popping up. So if you look up the definition of tween, it's usually like an 8 or 9, 10-year-old, okay, up until 13. So I have a couple different notes talking about friendships. There are a couple really good, solid things that you can talk about and do with your teen, tweens to help them to develop healthy friendships. The first one is you want to help your child have more than one friend. The more the merrier. So the, the old saying is the more the merrier and it's so very true. Let's say I have one friend and her name is Shelly. Okay, Shelly's my friend and let's say Shelly gets mad at me. And I always sit by Shelly at lunch and I always play with Shelly at recess. Well, who am I gonna hang out with that day if Shelly's mad at me? And how am I gonna feel if my one friend has left me on the side of the road kind of thing, right? So we really wanna encourage children to have more than one friend. Um, they wanna have more than you know friends in their class, friends outside of their class, friends in different organizations or activities such as church or maybe they are in a sport or maybe um, they are interested in something like sewing. Um, and maybe they take a class on, on a certain topic like that. So we want children to have friends in different pods or different social groups, okay? Now, social groups are tricky because social groups can feel like cliques, and you really, again, want to emphasize the fact that your child can have friends outside of one social group. So they don't you know, have to just have these four friends. They can have these friends that are within this group. They can have friends in this group. They can have friends in that group. So if you're just tuning in, the first tip on helping tweens to deal with friendships is to help them to have more friends. The more the merrier. Friends within different groupings, okay? The second tip is to give them time. Allow your child to have time to foster their friendships. So think about your own life. You feel better when you're connected to your friends, I hope. Um, so I know, for example, I use Voxer with my friends and we are, um, it's an app and it helps us to communicate on our own time and it's really helped us to feel connected to each other. We also like to do girls' nights out. I have a book club and I love seeing my book club friends once a month. So I know I feel better when I'm with my friends and have time with them. You can't assume that your children have all the time in the world at school to be with their friends. Some of their closest friends might not even be in their own classroom. So you want to help them foster those friendships by making time. So on the weekends, invite friends over for a play date. Make time for your children to foster those friendships. When they have time to be with those friends, that means they have time to have arguments, disagreements, and problem-solving opportunities to be able to figure out how to get through those issues, okay? So if you're just tuning in, my first tip on helping children to develop healthy friendships is one, they should have lots of different friends. Friends in the neighborhood, friends at church, friends in an activity they do, friends at school. The second tip is to give them time to foster those friendships, okay? And one of the other things that's really cool is when you invite children into your own home, spend time with your children and their friends. Get to know their friends, maybe have them over for family movie night or family game night so that you can also get to know that friend. Number three is talk to your children about what they value in a friendship. What makes a good friend? This is number three. Ask your child, what makes a good friend? If your child says that they love um, friends who are uh, funny and friends who are trustworthy and friends who are honest, but their BFF is none of those things, you want to bring that up to them and say, 
it's okay to have boundaries. It's okay to have limits. Not all of your friends are going to have the qualities of a best friend, but if someone is not treating you in the way that you feel a friend should be valued, then you have to have that conversation. Like, this is not how I want to be treated, and this is not okay. So helping your children to have boundaries. Like, I know that a friend should be these things to me. A friend should treat me with respect. A friend should be honest. A friend should not be talking about me behind my back. And when someone doesn't follow those boundaries, your child, help them role play how they can have a conversation with that friend and say, hey, I want to be your friend, but this is not cool. The way you're treating me is not okay. And last but not least, encourage diversity. Um, encourage diversity in friendships. And what I mean is you want your child to know that they can be who they are in friendships. It, they don't have to conform to be like others. They get to be themselves in friendships. So encourage diversity. I think it's amazing. My, my daughter has friends who are so very different from her, but that's the beauty of it. You know, my daughter gets, she plays piano and her, some of her greatest friends play soccer. And that's the beauty of it. They don't all have to do the same thing. They don't all have to be the same person. Encourage diversity in friendships. And with that, I'm going to go into number five and I'm going to leave you here today with the fifth tip on helping tweens in friendships. Let's just go over them real quick. If you're just tuning in, number one, encourage more than one friend. Two, Help your children, give them time to foster their friendships. Three, talk to them about what they value in a friendship and help them set their boundaries. Four is to encourage diversity. And number five is expect drama. Expect drama when it comes, know it's coming, know it's going to happen because it is, it, it's just a part of life. The drama really is. And how you can help is teaching your children to reflect before reacting. So your child gets really upset with a friend, take some time to reflect, why do you think your friend was upset? Why do you think your friend did that? What can you say to your friend instead of just reacting, okay? Usually when we react in a situation, we're gonna react with our emotions and we're not gonna come from a place of really understanding. So drama is going to happen. Um, reflect before reacting and help your child role play. I know my daughter was having some issues with a friend and her and I pretending like we were having the conversation as if it was her and her friend really helped her to get those words so that when she went to school, she had the language she could use with her friend to work it out. Okay, so I just did five quick tips on tween friendships. Rewind, take a listen. Thanks so much for being here today. Every other week, I will be coming here in this space answering your questions. If I don't know how to answer your question, I'm gonna go to one of my friends who is an expert, a lot of experts in this group, and I'm gonna get answers for you. Thanks everyone, and I will see you in a couple weeks. Oh, Tanya, if you're still listening, thank you. Thank you. We're in it, girl. Our friend, our girls are, our, our children are friends, so we are definitely in it.